Hey everybody, we're doing a quick video today. We're gonna to do a couple more later in the week, but I just wanted to get a short tip video out right now. This is about the little blue triangle or arrow. It's kind of an arrow, kind of a triangle, but it's hovering on some of our tracks here in the main window. And what this does is it shows us which sounds we're looking at in the library. So right now, it's showing you the settings for the master track, the stereo output. You can see we have different ones here. We can scroll back to the legacy ones, but I can come down and anytime that you can see a different little gray version of that little ghost, you can click on it and it's gonna take your library to give you options for that particular item. So channel EQ right here, limiter right here. Over on this track, we have our master settings. We have the arpeggiator. We have a retro synth presets. We have another channel EQ and so forth. These also allow you to close the library just like that. So anytime you're working over here, we can really easily just open up the library right to the item we want by clicking on the option that corresponds with a different piece of your channel strip. So super easy. It's really nice to be able to go straight to that thing without wondering if I need to click on something or, or whatever. I can really easily get there. Not only that, you can see exactly what thing you're changing over here because you can just look at the library list and then look over to see which one has the blue triangle arrow. That's it for today. Really simple, like I said, but this is a super handy way to be very efficient when going through presets and library things. Very simple way to do it. Okay, that's it. Hope you're having a great day. Like I said, we're gonna do a couple more videos later in the week. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel got a lot of great content in the works, things that we're planning. So stick around for more videos soon.